happy Monday honors. Today is November 8th and here are your daily announcements. Welcome back. We have quite a few announcements for you this week. Starting off, one, I hope that you have a great weekend and are adjusting to the fallback time. I know that it's strange to have the day so dark around four o'clock. So thank you um, for for waking up and being energized for today. Um, I want to give a few reminders about recess. I'm going to start with recess today. First, um, just some reminders generally about walking on the blacktop. Big time safety hazard. And I just want to make sure that everyone here is safe. We've had a lot of collisions outside and not that anyone is trying to run into each other, but we get excited. We're running across the blacktop, not seeing who might be running the other way. And we've had some collisions. And that also goes for our field area where students might be playing. And you'll notice that we've only had either soccer going or flyers up or a football game or such because um, too many kids in one space with students running around. We've had a lot of muddy collisions and a lot of students needing to change clothes or bonks on the head. We just want to make sure students are safe. And that also goes for tag on the big toy. The big toy um, no tag. Tag is for out in the field. So thank you for showing respect and making good decisions. If you have questions about any of those games, please make sure you stop over, talk to Miss Mimi or Miss Cher, and they can certainly help or even help you use the buddy bench, find something to do, um, and find a ball or a jump rope for you as well. And another reminder about umbrellas. Yes, umbrellas are allowed outside, but we're walking under them by ourselves and we're not using them on the big toy or under the covered area um, or running with them. We want to make sure that we are truly being safe so that we're not poking somebody in the eye. Next, I want to read some examples of RO3s. We've had, these were actually selected by Mr. Josh. He was here last week and he was helping me and he picked these out for me. So here we go. We have one to Nabil, Miss Molnar, for making a good decision, always on task. One to Hudson and Miss Angeline for making a good decision. This was from Miss Janice because you helped walk a student to the nurse and gave up part of your recess. We have one to Adeline for solving problems and Miss Rocco, thank you for fixing the pole that fell down. One to Michaela and Miss Johnson, showing respect and great class citizenship. One to Luke and Miss Osborne for making a good decision and having an organized workspace. One to Nick and Miss Domesley for waiting patiently. That's for making a good decision. This one is still to Delilah for showing respect to Miss Hazinga, following directions the first time. Ethan and Miss Turian for showing respect and making our classroom community a better place as a star chart winner, or a heart chart winner. And to Josh and Miss Angeline for making a good decision and for being nice to others by rescuing their ball from the water at recess. One to Allison and Miss Dressler. Um, and this one's for Miss Minetti for making a good decision. You stepped out of line to solve your problem. Sister Mai, I hope I said that right, and Miss Dressler for showing respect, active participation. One to Caitlin and Miss Isgrig for showing respect and following directions. One to Talia for showing respect to Miss Campbell, working on task and offering a rocking chair to a friend who is sad. And one to Maisie and Miss Pantel for showing respect and making a good decision for helping Riker clean up. So you guys can find this in your teacher's box sometime the end of today and um, with a sticker attached for your water bottle. Next up, this week is Veterans Day. There's no school um, in to honor those heroes who have served or are currently active in our military. We will have a virtual assembly on Wednesday. So if you want to participate in that, you can have your family fill out one of the slides through Google Slides that a link went home. I believe the cutoff said that it was today at noon, but as long as it gets to me this evening, um, if you go home and want to remind your parents, as long as I have it this evening, I'll be able to include it in our Veterans Day virtual assembly. So I hope that you take a moment to celebrate those those heroes in your life. I know I certainly will. My, my nephew and my son-in-law, we have lots of Marines in our family, so we'll take a minute to do that as well. Uh, let's see here. So again, no school on Thursday. And then the following week, next week, um, starting Wednesday up till Thanksgiving, we have half days to get out at 110. And that is because we have parent teacher conferences. So it's very exciting for our teachers and our families to meet, talk about you, your growth, and where how far you've come so far this year and all of the great things that you do here 
and also an opportunity to talk about where we're going next and where we are our opportunities for growth, that growth mindset that we have. So that is all I have for you today. I hope that you make it a positively amazing Monday, and I will see you here on Wednesday um, for uh, our morning announcements, also more honor pause and some more uh, in our, our assembly that we'll have. Um, that's all I have for you. Please turn to your teacher for the Pledge of Allegiance. As always, it's a great day to be an honor.